Hey, Jeff here from Alternative Heating and Supplies. Today I'm going to be talking how to bleed a boiler loop. This happens commonly when people are doing a water change or a flush of their unit, a cleaning of their unit, and what happens, or even the first time they're filling up the boiler, what happens basically is that in your boiler it's filled with water and the pump will pump to the, the heating system in the house and then come back to the boiler. But what happens is that the water in the boiler is pushing back on the water trying to return into the boiler from the loop which then builds air and air compresses so the pump is not able to push that air out because the water is pushing back on it here. So there's a couple quick solutions to fixing that. One, you can drop the water level below the return port or disconnect that port uh, so that the air is able to get pushed out and then reconnect. But what we do here at uh, Alternative Heating, we carry a kit, it's called an install kit. Uh, we carry several different versions of it. And what it basically does is on the return side, this is mounted. And what happens is when the pump is pumping back, you, what you do is you close the ball valve and open the boiler drain or a peacock. And that's gonna let the air to come out. And then once all the air comes out, then it'll just come out water. Then you know the loop has been bled completely. Then you simply shut your boiler drain, close your ball valve, and your loop is completely blood free, airless. Now these install kits have everything that you need to put it together uh, and assemble it, and it also has a diagram to show you what it should look like when it's installed properly. Now, the other purpose of that is, is that I get questions, my pump isn't pumping, uh, and I have no heat. So that's simply because the pump is not working. So the other thing about this that you can do, so if you're up and running, and all of a sudden you have, you're not getting enough heat or it's, you got no heat and you, you don't know if the pump's pumping because it's humming. And unless you, there's no way for you to determine if that pump is actually circulating water. So again, a simple solution is you shut your ball valve on your return side and you open it. Now, if the water comes out very, very slowly, you know that pump isn't working. If it comes out like a garden hose, you know that pump's working. So this is also good to troubleshoot uh, pump issues or these kind of questions. Okay, here's another little trick. When you're flushing or cleaning your wood boiler, um, I recommend that every two, uh, three years you should be adding, re dumping the water out, trying to flush it out as best you can and adding new boiler treatment. Now when you're doing this, what I recommend is you shut the ball valves on the return and supply side, okay? Drain your water, flush it out, fill it back up, add your boiler treatment, and then open the ball valves again, and you're all done. The loop is already filled with water, so you don't need to bleed it. That is a little helpful trick when you're doing the flushing and cleaning of your wood boiler. Okay, so we have several different variables of our install kits. So if you go to our website and type in I-N-S-T-K-I-T, that will show you all the kits that we have, uh, everything from shark bites to crimp and the different variables that you might be interested in. We appreciate your business. Happy heating. Thank you.